it'll be second down. Well, with that pass going awry, Charles, I hate to discuss this, but we need to. Deshaun Watson goes down with an injury, ACL tear done for the season, and boy, that's tough. It is extremely tough, especially when we do everything possible to protect players in practice, to make sure you have good practices, no injuries. And it just happened on a routine, normal play. And when he gets back, he will make the same exact movements again. Just a freak injury, and now the Texans, that's going to be tough. The number one scoring offense with him, they really struggled against Indianapolis Colts. Yeah, they did. Just 14 points. Really nice response from Watson, though, saying he's going to come back stronger than ever. And how about the response from the league? How about the respect he garnered in his short time as the quarterback? He's got Evans. And he's finally taken down, but not before getting across midfield and across the 45-yard line. First down, Winston. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. It's been this way most of the afternoon, hasn't it? This secondary really put this receiving core on lockdown. Listen, they've worked together like a basketball team is playing excellent defense. Great communication, doesn't matter whether it's man or zone. And especially against deep balls, as we saw there, they're not giving up anything to him. He's got his tight end on the corner route. It's complete. And he gets this one all the way down inside the 20-yard line. A good pick up there, 26 yards. And the game just keeps evolving. Big guys running those corner routes, so difficult to cover. From the red zone now, Winston. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Buccaneers. Cameron Bray, a 16-yard touchdown. And the Bucs are able to strike for six. Roberto Aguayo now for the point after. A good tight end is a heck of a weapon for any quarterback, especially when you're able to create some mismatches. Sometimes they work against a linebacker. Sometimes they work against a smaller defensive back. But when they find it, they go to it, and it often results in touchdowns. A drive that time of six plays, and it's all finished off with a touchdown by Tampa Bay. The kicker, Roberto Aguayo, has it teed up and is about ready to get this one started. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. second remains now in this third quarter. Double tight. Double tight. Four down, four down. On first down, it's Newton. Flushed out right. It's complete right side to Benjamin. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets in the enemy team. And we're back now in Charlotte. A lot of happy faces in the crowd at this point as their guys have a big lead here to start quarter number four. Offense comes to the line now, first and ten. Newton now to throw. Forced out to his left. And some room to roam now. He won't go down. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. Partner, it's often the man coverage is easier for a quarterback to run against. You get your receivers going downfield. Those guys are staying with them, and oftentimes they have their back to the quarterback, which opens up a lot of space and room, and they don't even know that he's taken off with it. What a big-time pickup on that play. They go play action with Stewart. Now Newton letting one go deep for the end zone. So they took a shot on first down but couldn't connect. Fourth quarter, you've got the big lead. If you're coaching, Charles, you, you still taking shots like that downfield? I'd be a little more concerned with running some clock and making sure you're taking care of the lead because you keep flinging it around, you throw a couple of picks, you can put yourself in jeopardy. A play fake to Stewart. It's Newton. 
And it's caught. And he'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Carolina. Kelvin Benjamin, a 22-yard touchdown grab. And the Panthers have got it on cruise control. So another score there. Often you talk about the three phases of the game. Defense, offense, special teams. It's been a clean sweep in this one, hasn't it? It certainly has. They've been pretty dominant throughout this game. And privately, the head coach will add a fourth phase. That's the coaching. And he'll tell the ownership that as he tries to negotiate a new contract off of this win. So they are looking strong here in the fourth quarter. Now this one was over a while ago as they just add on to their big lead. A drive there of just four plays. And Carolina scores to cap it off. And whistle blown. A timeout here is taken, and it's taken by the kicking team. That's going to leave them with just one remaining here in this fourth quarter. Gano out to kick this one away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have stayed where he was as he'll only get back to the 16-yard line. Now the Buccaneer offense gets set to take over. And they're going to need another score. Got one last time, but still down here. When you're playing catch-up, every possession becomes crucial, doesn't it? It's vital. Get back out on the field. Punch it in the end zone again. They know it's not easy, but what they do have going for them, they did score the last time. They think they've got a good formula working. And what about the defense? Well, now you're just saying to yourself, okay, give up a score lap. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off by Mike Adams. And he will bring this one back. It's a pick six for a Panther touchdown. That's the story of the game. They've been suffocating all game long on defense. They were suffocating there again in a big way. And they've done it not just by out-athleting them, which is often the case, but by being able to adjust to anything they tried to throw at them and beating them into the punch each and every time. This was a defense that was well-prepared. Gano for the extra point. Now this one was over a while ago as they just add on to their big lead. So the defense creating some points, not only getting the interception, but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he will be brought down here at about the 17-yard line. And the Buccaneers getting ready to go as they take the field. And they just had that pick six. I guess the only positive maybe of them returning that for a touchdown, this offense right back out onto the field to try to make up for it. 
I like that because now it doesn't give him a chance to go to the bench and really settle. You know, to sit there and kind of seethe over the idea that they turned the ball over previously. Right back out there. It's almost like hopping right back on the bike after falling over. Let's see if they can get the ball moving again. Well, we'll see if they can do it here. And they'll bring him down at the 27-yard line. Ten yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Seeing that play and understanding just how tough it is to cover tight ends, especially the ones running around the NFL nowadays, makes me glad I didn't make it in that league. I would have had a really difficult time. But now you get to sit up here with me. Yeah, and that's fun, isn't it? And what a really nice gain right there on first down for them. Brings up a nice second down for them. On first and ten, Winston. Looking for his tight end on the corner. It's complete. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. A really nice gain of 25 yards. A nice job there, Charles. They picked up the blitz, were able to complete the pass. That had the total feel of a quarterback in control. Red blitz, got him into the right protection scheme so he doesn't get hit back there. He's got a chance to step up with supreme confidence and deliver it downfield for a nice completion. A first down throw for Winston. And they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. A gain of six there on first. Well, this is how you shape the thoughts of that interception on the last drive. You come out and start this one four for four. And watching him throw it around with that type of confidence reminds me of a guy I played with way back when who told me, I don't care if I throw ten interceptions in a row. I'm going to stay confident and keep flinging it. I'll just keep... And Winston lost the football. And fortunately, he's able to reel it back in, but it's going to go down as a big loss here on the play. A call it luck or skill, whatever the case is, they're feeling good about just keeping the football there. Yeah, the biggest thing that they're calling it now, our ball. <laughs> they don't care if it was luck or skill. Boy, the panic that jumps up in your chest when that ball's on the ground, whether you get it or your teammate gets it, just as long as you maintain possession, that's all you're looking for. To throw, Winston. Open man is got what it's complete. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10 to the 7. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. From the shotgun, it's Winston. And he's got it. Caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. And that touchdown, well, it barely puts a dent in this lead. And... Unfortunately, I'm having too many flashbacks right now. I remember getting beat down like this playing before. Oh, yeah? College? High school? College. Not a heck of a lot of fun. I still remember playing and trying to tackle an elusive tailback who ended up scoring four touchdowns, 226 yards. He scored so many times <laughs> and had so many great runs. I knew every note to their school's fight song. I bet that ice bath felt extra cold afterwards. Oh, yeah. no, oh, no. There was no ice bath. You're just trying to get out of there before the reporters got to you. And he'll bang that one through. So this drive spans seven plays. And it ends with a touchdown for the Bucks. The kicker, Roberto Aguayo, has it teed up and is about ready to get this one started. That's fielded in the end zone. No, a nifty juke there. Not much fun for a guy trying to tackle it. And the attention now shifts to Kelvin Benjamin. Seems like the measuring stick for a receiver for a great game is 100 yards. Well, he's well past that now. And as we analyze how he's getting him, that's where it really becomes fun because, let's face it, they keep sending coverage at him, keep trying to put the pressure on, but he finds ways downfield and finds openings. That's a really crafty receiver. And he's taken down, but not before getting this across midfield and just shy of the 40. A very nice pickup of 33 yards. Newton turns and hands to Stewart. So a loss of five, and it'll be second down. Brandon, this is clearly a running situation when you're up in the fourth quarter. 
they're going to have to stack the box and make it difficult for them to move the ball. Made it very difficult right there. Now they need to repeat that effort. Yeah, bring seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take to slow them down. Time for a break. We'll come back and wrap up garbage time after this. So it's Panther football as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. On second down, here's Newton. Eluding the pressure right. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. He goes for 18 there as the drive will continue. His big game continues. Already has the three touchdown grabs, tacking on some more yardage and a first down. And how precise has his route running been in this game? We just saw him get open yet again. And he's also made adjustments as the defense has tried to really stop him. Throwing is Newton. Buying time to his left. And he is out of bounds, just a yard or two shy of the 10. 18 yards on each of the last two plays, and they're picking up big chunks now. On any given pass play, you never know exactly where your exit points are going to be. On this play, he was flushed to his left, still on the run. After review of the play, the rookie on the field stands. Escaping the pressure right. <laughs> and they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. And my friend, I think it's safe to say that this game is pretty much deceased at this point. <laughs> it, it's taken a knee, so to speak. It is definitely this victory formation. Take the snap, take the knee, call it a night, you know, call it a game, call it whatever. I agree with you totally. I don't think there's much left to get except for those they want to run up the score. I, I knew this was over about a minute ago when you took your stat sheet and just flipped it over your shoulder in the trash can. Yeah, that's, that's my... And that's similar to the guys cutting tape off yeah, right before the yeah. game's over. We know this thing's done. and a timeout called by the kicking team as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. 